I think that symbols for people who are non-speaking are absolutely amazing and they're just such a life changer. And I'm so grateful to Roxy and Terry Johnson and to Faith Carlson and to Jackie Clark for all of the symbol sets they developed because they've made such a difference in the lives of so many individuals. But what I'm worried about is that we've forgotten the lessons of the 1950s. And I know that most of the people watching this weren't even born in the 1950s, so let me tell you about that research. They did research on rebus symbols. They added these cute little rebus symbols to the words like cat and in and of and, and all kinds of words. And then they checked to see how much it was helping the students learn to read. And guess what? Not only was it not helping them, it made it worse. So we took a student who's struggling to read and we made them struggle even more because now what's happening is they're just looking at the symbol. And when you take away the symbol, they're toast. They can't read it at all. So if we want them to read the symbols, then we need to start de -symbolating. So for example, the word the, I would never add a symbol with it because the, the symbol is just an extra barrier, help students learn to read the word the as a chunk, to see that as a visual symbol, as the word shape of that symbol. Then when we start taking away the symbols from the words that we want the students to read, then they do start, in fact, learning to read, many of them, if we're doing good literacy instruction along with it. Taking away the symbols isn't going to fix it, but it's going to help them re be required to actually focus on those words. And another issue is that it's okay to simulate the fringe words. So if I have a word like marble for a beginning reader, that's fine to simulate that word. It's not a high frequency word and it's not an easily decodable word. And so go for it, add that symbol above the word marble, but take away the symbols for the high frequency words that you want them to read. And if there's a picture support in the text for marbles, then again, take that symbol away. So just think being smart in when we use symbols and even smarter in when we don't use symbols. That's my advice.